what's up guys so some of you have actually been asking what um oils i use so to start i really don't use like i never used to use any oils for my skin or anything um so usually it was just like wash it you know drink water really very simplistic um but uh recently i kind of started using uh some uh, some oils so i thought i'll share it share it with you guys so in the morning i usually tend to use these two um so we have these this uh vitamin e oil and the vitamin c which you can both get on amazon i'll leave uh links down below if any of you guys want to cop uh, but yeah, usually I mix these two, just put a bit and I apply it on my face and really that's pretty much it in terms of my sort of morning routine when it comes to oils. I don't use it that often. I tend to use it like maybe three, four times a week, you know, um, especially um, during the summer because during the summer I, um, I have a very like oily face. So like during the summer, I don't really use it that much. But during the winter, because my face gets dry a bit, I tend to put some on uh, in the morning just before I start my day. And then in the evening, I use this one now. Um, wait, yeah, this Midnight uh, Boost, which you can actually find on Essence in the Everything Else category. Um, this one, I also just apply it, just apply a little bit of it, and I'm pretty much good for the, for the night. Um, I really don't tend to use um, a lot of it, so this would last me, quite frankly, like three months, maybe sometimes four. Um, and then recently I got this one, which is just like for dry skin. So this I usually apply it if my skin is feeling dry. Um, now you just put a bit and I'm pretty much good to go. Um, but this one, I. Uh, I've used it a bit more often just because it's easier and it doesn't make my face too oily. Um, I'll definitely suggest this one if you're kind of just looking to apply some form of oil onto your face and don't want it to be too shiny or too um, complicated. This is definitely a good one. Either way, I'll leave all of them in the description down below. And then for my beard, I use this bad boy. Now this I've definitely been using for a very long time. This is the Six Men. Uh, power bomb beard bomb um, from uh, this brand is based out of uh, Toronto. Uh, I've been using this one for about Honestly well over three years now, so uh, I really love this one. Um, I use it every day for my beard really good um, and that's pretty much it in terms of my morning routine All right, guys, so I'm gonna have some food. Um, doing a bit of a vlog today. I'm gonna take you guys around with me. I might hit the gym because the gyms are now open here in Montreal. So um, probably hit the gym. I wanna check out a few stores, see if they have anything coming in for the spring or summer. Uh, probably not gonna cop anything, but, uh, but yeah. And I uh, finally moved. Uh, moved about a week ago and uh, everything is all set now. Maybe I'll do a tour, I'm not sure yet, but um, honestly, what, what you have behind me is pretty much, uh, this is the living room, the kitchen, the bed. Um, I have a bunch of things that I wanna add onto the um, apartment, so once that's done, maybe I'll do an apartment tour. Leave a comment down below if you guys would like to see an apartment tour first and foremost, and then uh, we'll get into that. So um, yeah, other than that, um, pretty simplistic breakfast this morning. I think I'm gonna do some legs today. So I'm eating before uh, I head out to the gym and then I'm gonna take you guys with me, show you guys my workout and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, so on my way to the gym and it is absolutely cold. It is so cold today. We've had a couple of uh, weeks where it hasn't been too cold, but today is absolutely ridiculous decided to switch on to my iphone 
for the video just because I don't want to take a big ass camera to the gym. But yeah, cozy. I have my fleece jacket on, champion hoodie, a beanie, my boots, and this cross body bag from uh, Nike. This bag actually was on such a good discount when I found it um, a couple of months back. I think got it, ended up getting it for like $15, which is kind of nice. But yeah, head to the gym, um, do a quick leg workout. I don't think I'm gonna stay in there too long just because the gym's just reopened. I just recently started using weights again, so I don't wanna injure myself. So I'm gonna keep it pretty light and just, uh, yeah. Quick voiceover on this workout. So did some squats, uh, kept it pretty simple and I only focused on squats on this workout and finished off with some core and some stiff deadlifts. So for these squats, I went with uh, 10 reps, eight reps, six, and then four reps. With the four reps, I did three sets with the heaviest weight. Now the gym's just reopened. I haven't lifted in a while, so I try to not go too heavy and just really focus on form and, uh, and yeah, and just have a good workout to be honest. And then at the end, I finished off with some stiff deadlifts and then a little bit of back. I did a little bit of back at the end and some core and abs. And that was pretty much the end of the workout. Now, to be honest, guys, like the reason why I work out so much is to be able to fit in my clothes. So I do try to get into the gym at least two or three times a week, sometimes even four. And when the gyms were closed, I did a lot of running. I'll post that on my uh, Instagram stories. Make sure to follow me on there. I do post workouts here and there, but yeah. So um, just got done with the gym and uh, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's cold, but it's really nice. And uh, yeah, it's so nice to have the some of the um, places reopening. I feel like it's just, just a boost of energy and motivation to kind of get out of the house. Um, so yeah, like things are okay here in Montreal. Like, yes, we do still have cases, but I think we've been slightly stable. But obviously with things opening now, you know it's it's gonna be pretty um pretty hectic i know one of the other provinces like ontario just closed down again because you know um cases started picking up but uh yeah it's good uh, my session was about an hour long uh, i'm gonna head to the post office drop off some items that i sold on grilled by the way if you guys are looking for pieces definitely check out my grilled greg torre um i usually post or I upload certain pieces that I'm no longer wearing wearing on there. Um, so so yeah, so if you're interested, make sure to check out my grilled. But yeah, um, then I'm gonna get, head home. I'm gonna go um, visit a couple stores as well later on this afternoon and just chill out. Um, so yeah, beautiful spring day. Okay, so I am currently um, waiting for the Michel Boxon store to open. Uh, yesterday, actually, I had a couple of things to drop off at Canada Post and it ended up getting so late, I couldn't check out the stores. So today is Saturday, I'm gonna check out a couple of stores. The Michel Brisson one, I've spoken about it in the past and basically they are doing a liquidation so because the store is gonna be closing in the old port. Um, so yeah, uh, they have a couple items on sale, like some pretty good brands like Dries, um, and a bunch of other brands on, on a pretty good discount, like 70 to 80% off. So I'm gonna check it out today and then possibly check out Holt as well. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be a good Saturday. It's beautiful out, so uh, yeah, let's get going. Hope you guys can see me and hear me. So just picked up some coffee. I'm gonna quickly drink this. I'm actually just right by Michel Brisson. Um, what a beautiful day today. Um, 
So one thing that I actually wanted to kind of talk about real quick was my new apartment. I recently moved in. I'll probably just place clips somewhere around here, kind of showing you guys what it looks like. Really simple, really chilled. It's three and a half uh, apartment. Um, and uh, yeah, the furniture already had it. So for me, it was like super easy and I don't have that much. So it was like super easy to move. But one of the reasons why I decided to move was actually because I uh, needed a place that was close by to where I usually get all my content. I think I've talked about this before, so I'm super happy with the place. It was actually quite funny because if you guys remember in my last vlog, I kind of talked about, uh, well, like the previous vlog that I did with regards to hunting for apartments, I actually kind of had talked about how the one place that I had found, the uh, landlord ended up selling the spot so I couldn't move in. But to be honest, what ended up actually happening was so we kind of had a conversation and he was like, look, uh, whatever you find, I'm willing to um, give you $100 a month for the year for sort of the inconvenience that he caused. So what ended up happening is literally a week later, because I was really hunting. So a week later, I ended up finding something. And then um, he uh, held his end of the deal and decided that he would put $100 onto my rent for the year, which is made it super convenient for me. Like, I mean, shit, like, you know, he sort of like, we reached an agreement in a way and uh, it ended up working out for me because the spot that I found is a little bit more expensive, but it's much bigger. Uh, I have way more space. I'm super happy with it. Uh, glad the move in, the moving was a bit hectic, but managed to get it all done. So now, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this uh, chocolatine and take you guys to uh, Michel Boisson. Finished off with Michel Brisson. Uh, they kind of had the same stuff that they had uh, last time that I went. So uh, I'm thinking just because the store is still open until May, they're probably gonna hold off and add some stuff during the summer sale um, season. So around probably end of April, beginning of May, uh, I'll probably check it out again and see if I can find some steals. Other than that, I still have holds to check out. So I'm gonna check that out, see what they have in store, try on a couple pieces. Now, um, the reason why I've been kind of going back into stores again, is just because at um, online, like for example, at Essence, um, as employees, we're kind of not allowed to go to the store and try on some pieces. So I think for me, just to get an idea, if I want to cop something online and I'm not really sure of sizing, I'll just kind of pick a store that has it and go and try it on. So that's what I'm going to do with Holtz today. And then, uh, yeah. All right, so trying on these Pradas at the Prada store and, uh, they look really good. I can definitely see myself rocking these. Maybe not with these trousers, but uh, like maybe not with these trousers, but definitely with like a nice pleated pair of trousers, these will look good. Even some cargoes, I feel like with some cargoes, these could look really good. But yeah. Well, well, well. Honestly, I wasn't planning on trying these. I wanted to try on the derbies, but uh, these honestly look pretty clean. All right, guys, so that is going to conclude today's video. Um, couldn't check out that many stores just because, honestly, like I said in the past, stores aren't that interesting anymore. They don't have that much stuff, but the Prada boots were really nice. Like I'm definitely gonna have to consider those for the fall winter 2021, so we'll see. Yeah, other than that, that'll be it on uh, today's vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And you can always follow me on my Instagram, G-R-E-G-N-T-O-R-E, -E, where I post regular outfit pictures. Take care, peace.